California for an exclusive one-on-one -on -one interview with Eckstein. Katie? Mike, David Eckstein told the Cardinals he wanted to remain with the club. The Cardinals have said they made attempts to re-sign him, but Eckstein says those statements are false and he was never offered a contract. The stories surrounding David Eckstein's contract negotiations with the Cardinals are different. On Saturday, John Mozeliak had this to say. There was a deal offered, and he was given multiple times to tell me what he felt he should get or what he's worth, and he never came back. But Eckstein says the Cardinals never made him an official offer. My agent and I had, dis had discussions with the Cardinals leading up into the season. Once the season was about to start, there were some type of discussion. You can call it an offer, you can call it whatever, but it was one of those things that we both decided to end the discussions and pick them back up once March, I mean, once the season ended. Eckstein says the only reason their discussion stopped was because the season was starting. I wanted to make sure my focus was on the team and that I had already signed a contract through 2007. And so that was my point in saying, hey, I think these, these discussions need to stop. I have no problem playing out the season and reopening the discussions once the season ends. And the Cardinals agreed. Since the end of the season, there have been reports that Eckstein's agent was asking for too much money. I'm just trying to figure out the disconnect, that's all. Probably money in years. But Eckstein says the only thing he and his agent asked for was for Eckstein to remain a Cardinal. Well, that's the one thing I want to clarify, especially to the St. Louis fans. Um, first off, my agent and I never once set any demands or any parameters to the St. Louis Cardinals. We were willing to listen to any offer they had. We repeatedly told them my desires to, say, to stay a St. Louis Cardinal. And the one thing that I promise you, the Cardinals never once gave me or my agent the opportunity to accept or reject an offer to remain a St. Louis Cardinal. Eckstein didn't have an impressive season. He committed 20 errors and missed a portion of the season with back problems. The club made it clear any discussions in March were no longer in play. They were just making it clear that if, we, if they were going to talk to me about a contract, that it was going to be less years and less money that they were talking about in March. And my, our response was, we understand that. But we want to reiterate to you, David's desire to stay, to be, remain a Cardinal. We did make an offer um, when the season ended. At that point, I said, you have to tell me where you think this is going. Because we've already put our best foot forward. And then I was never given a number or a year or anything. They never gave me the opportunity to remain a Cardinal. I never once had any type of opportunity after even encouraging them at one point, please just put something on the table. And they never once did. The Cardinals believe that this is all a meltdown in communication. I spoke with John Mozeliak again today. Well, from our perspective, clearly there's a, a, um, an issue that David and his agent have a different recollection of, of myself and the Cardinals. And really at this point, we only wish David the very best. And uh, when we look back at his three years here, they were a wonderful three years. And uh, I hope it was a great experience for him. And I wish him well in Toronto. People are going to say, well, this is just sour grapes on your part. I was just looking for them to be honest with me and just tell me that they decided to go in a different direction. And I, and I totally understand that. I have no problem whatsoever with, with them just saying that. Now, David Exxon says he worked closely with his agents throughout the entire process and was aware of all conversations that took place with the Cardinals. Mike. And, Katie, the Cardinals' new lineup was the topic of tonight's web poll question. We asked, do you think the Cardinals, with the departures of David Eckstein and Jim Edmonds, will be better next year? 113 said yes. 718 said no. 132 didn't know, and 168 didn't care.